In this tutorial, you will learn to revolve and cut these holes without sketching all the holes. Start a new sketch on the XZ plane. On this plane, the base of the drain will be sketched. Select the Polyline tool. Start on the origin. The white numbers indicate the coordinates and tell how long the line will be. Click to draw the first line. Each time you click, a line and vertex will be created. Draw the shape and end on the origin to close the shape. Right-click twice to exit the Polyline tool. Select these two lines and make them equal with this constraint. I doubt if both lines are selected. Click once to cancel the selection and select the lines again. Make them equal with this constraint tool. Looks like it failed again. Drag the sketch to make one line bigger. For the third time, select the lines and make them equal. It succeeded this time. These two lines must also be equal. Select the dimension tool and click on the upper horizontal line. Enter a dimension of 25 millimeter. Then add a one millimeter length to the short line. You will see all three short lines will be one millimeter long. Continue to add the following dimensions. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the revolution tool. The sketch is rotated around the Z-axis and a solid body is created. Click on OK to apply. Click this button to create a new second sketch. Select this top plane to sketch on. That plane is aligned with the top face of the model. Select the slot tool. Make sure the normal slot feature is selected, not the arc slot. Hide the solid body by clicking this eye icon. Now, click on the vertical axis and drag the mouse. Enter a length of 12 millimeter and enter an angle of 90 degrees. Finally, enter a radius of one millimeter and press enter to apply. Now create a smaller slot with a length of four millimeter. Draw three more slots. You can just click to avoid entering dimensions. Right click to exit the slot tool. Select all arcs and make them equal. Now it's time to add the other distances with the dimension tool. Click two center points to add a distance between them. Make sure you drag the mouse in the right direction. Here's an example of adding the same dimension twice. Lines will turn orange because of redundant constraints. Select the dimension tool and add the following dimensions. These dimensions are vertical distances between the center points. It works the same as adding horizontal dimensions.
Right-click to exit the Dimension tool. Now click on these two vertices and make them vertical. Make sure that these two vertices are horizontal. Select the Line tool and draw two horizontal lines on the horizontal axis inside the slots. Then select the Trim tool. Click on all lines below the horizontal axis to remove them. Right-click to exit the Trim tool. Drag the sketch to see where it's loose. Select the vertex and then the horizontal axis. And create a coincident constraint to align them. Do the same for this vertex. Looks like some lines are not vertical yet. Select them and make them vertical with this constraint tool. Some more constraints need to be added. Make these two vertices horizontal. Select the dimension tool and add a vertical distance between this vertex and the horizontal axis. The sketch lines turned green, so they're all fully constrained. Now let's trim the left part of the left slot. Click on all lines left from the vertical axis to remove them. The arcs are also removed, but this is too much. Undo three times to undo all trimming. Select the line tool. Draw a vertical line inside the slot on the vertical axis. Right-click to exit the line tool. The line is not fixed on the vertical axis yet. I wanted to make these vertices coincident, but that's not going to work. The line must be fixed on one vertex. The other vertex is already fixed on the arc. Now select the trim tool. Click on all lines left from the vertical axis to remove them. Now you know how to trim sketch lines. All contours are closed to loops now. Click on close to exit the sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Click on this eye icon to show the solid body again. You see how the sketch lines are positioned on the model. Select that sketch and click on the pocket tool. Choose through all to cut through the whole object. Click on OK to apply the cut. Select the cut, which is this pocket, and select the Multi-Transform tool. Right-click here and choose Add Mirrored Transformation. This plane was automatically selected, which is good. Click on OK to apply the Mirrored Transformation. Right-click here and choose Add Mirrored Transformation again. But now select the horizontal sketch axis. You see all holes were mirrored again. Click on OK to apply. Instead of drawing all slots, you saved some time by only sketching a quarter of them. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.